Truth is making a comeback. America's Top Stories with Lisa K. Donner. When the Democrats do math, watch out. Their grand plans add up to a whole lot of zeros. We're talking really scary numbers here. Perhaps they never passed basic arithmetic, or maybe they did and just don't care. But here at Liberty Nation, we consulted our math genius, Tim Donner, and asked him to add up all the Democratic plans to see what it will cost. And wow, get ready for reality, folks. Joining me now from near the epicenter of the swamp is Tim Donner. Hi, Tim. Hi, Lisa. Well, at Liberty Nation, we have a line that says, Tim does math. Uh, he doesn't usually need a calculator, but I do hope you have your calculator handy today. So a number of proposals were made by the Democrats uh, in the Democratic debates. Let's take them one by one. Uh, first, we have the Green New Deal. What's that going to cost? Well, Lisa, you know, they call this, it's been called in some quarters, the free stuff primary. Uh, and it's almost like an auction. You know, I'll see your 20 uh, trillion for the Green New Deal. Do I hear 30 trillion? Do I hear 30 trillion? And indeed, you will get that. A reminder first that these programs always cost a lot more than a, the original estimates from the uh, nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office. But the Green New Deal specifically, which would basically bankrupt the entire economy has been estimated as high as 93 trillion over 10 years by a place called the American Action Forum and as low as about 33 trillion by the Mercatus Center at George Mason. So let's just say it costs about $3 trillion a year with a reminder that our current federal budget totals $4 trillion a year. So, so speaking of bankrupting America, uh, we have socialized medicine, also known as Medicare for All. Well, Medicare for All, somebody once said, if you think health care is expensive now, just wait till it's free. And of course, that's what the Democrats are proposing with a Medicare for All program, which would cost by... Uh, estimates anywhere between let's say 14 and 32 trillion over 10 years and let's take the lower of those that would be about a trillion and a half uh, every single year now let's remember that Obama promised that Obamacare would save the average American about $2,500 a year it actually wound up costing the average American family about four uh, $4,500 more a year. So that's a $7,000 difference. And that's typical of what happens with the government uh, with these estimates on these big government programs. And it would also, little detail, Lisa, it would strip 180 million Americans of private health insurance. Ah, uh, in Beto speak, uh, mucho cedos. <laughs> gracias, mucho gracias, Lisa. All right, what about the Democratic proposals uh, that we haven't talked about? Uh, what else is on the docket? Well, it's pretty hard to calculate all of them, but you have Andrew Yang's proposal of a guaranteed basic income, which would pay every American, every single one, all 300 million plus $1,000 a month as a basic income. That would cost $3 trillion a year. Then you add on free college, uh, free daycare, uh, forgiveness of student debt for anybody that makes uh, less than a hundred thousand, uh, less than a hundred thousand dollars a year. Add it all up, and the composite of these various uh, Democratic proposals outside of the Green New Deal and Medicare for All would be uh, in the neighborhood of a trillion and a half or two trillion a year. So we're we're really talking free bread at the circus. Well. You're looking, if you add them all up, as best we can tell, with again the caveat, these things always cost much more than the government estimates. You've got the Green New Deal at $3 trillion a year, the uh, Medicare for All at a trillion and a half a year, again, conservatively, a uh, guaranteed income proposal at $3 trillion a year, and all the others at about a trillion a year. You're talking $8 trillion a year 
added to the federal budget, although, of course, they claim that there will be savings in other places. Again, with the federal budget at $4 trillion a year, this would involve uh, tripling the federal budget just to account for all these things, not to mention that something like the Green New Deal would overturn the entire economy and all fossil fuels, replace them with windmills and solar energy. It would eliminate airplanes and on and on. It's never going to happen, and it's little more than a, 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 a massive political liability for Democrats. Now, we watched this together. Maybe I missed something, but uh, essentially, they were saying uh, they're going to pay for this by taxing people 10 million, uh, taxing people making $10 million a year. Yeah, that's the answer for everything in the Democratic Party. So the rich tax the rich. Uh, Elizabeth Warren wants to tax wealth, which means existing um, the, the existing savings or investments, the total net worth of individuals, which is a whole new thing. It's not taxing income, it's taxing what you've already got. So you've made your money, you've paid your taxes, now you have what's left over, and Elizabeth Warren will go after that as well. So yeah, this is all going to be funded on the backs of the rich, who of course... Uh, Lisa, famously, always find a way around these kind of socialist regulations. So basically what we're talking about is is scrapping the entire economy and starting all over again. Do you have any sense, Tim, whether Americans are stupid enough to go for this? I, I think not. I mean, I always feel like the American people are a lot smarter than they give us credit for. Well, I think what we're looking at <clears throat> is 1972 all over again when George McGovern, who at the time <clears throat> was the most radical Democrat ever to be nominated for president, uh, and he lost 49 states to Richard Nixon, who at that point was little more popular than Donald Trump. So it, this may not really even be about Trump because the voters really may be left with no choice when they see these kind of proposals that are bound to scare the bejesus out of them. All right, well, thank you very much, Tim Donner. It's nice to be married to Mr. Math. <laughs> I didn't even need a calculator. You did not. Thanks so much for joining us on Truth Today, Tim. Thank you, Lisa. Truth is making a comeback. Visit us at libertynation.com.